I reviewed UGM's Ultimate Creative Reverb plugin a couple of months ago and gave it a pretty high rating. And if you own a copy, then today is your lucky day because we've got over 50 presets to give away. 100% free, no strings attached. Just download from the link in the description and copy them to the drives listed below for Windows and Mac. Watson. My favorite thing about UFX Reverb is that UJAM decided to go the creative route. A happy little evergreen tree. And added this filter and finisher section. Combined, this gives you a lot of power. So I thought I'd showcase some of the things that you can do with it, as well as a few sound design tricks, because creative reverbs are a lot of fun. Full disclosure, UJAM has provided me a copy of UFX Reverb, but they do not get to see my videos before release and have no say over the content on this channel. For a few of these examples, I'm going to be using Reaper's track envelopes or trim function to change parameters. Other DAWs have similar functions, and some let you do some pretty complex modulations also. First, I'm using the Radio Gator custom preset. Note that the preset names give a clue as to what the reverb does for the most part, which in this case is an old-time radio sound filter tied to a 16th note gate. Here are the dry and wet sounds. There are two track envelopes set up for this one. The first is to turn the freeze function on and off, and the second is to fade out the mix. Combined, these can be great for holding tones and then extending the decay of the reverb. My example here is pretty simple, but just these two parameters give you a lot of control. I really like this preset because of the character that it imparts to the sound, which you'll hear in a second. The Lunaris patch that I selected has a cold and slightly digital edge to it. If you want to reduce that digital signature and warm the sound up, the UFX Warm Reverb is a great tool. You can hear how great a job the warm reverb does, and I love this patch because it not only warms everything up, but it smears it a bit also, which makes some pads sound just excellent. Finishing this off with Polyverse's Gatekeeper adds a nice rhythmic effect. This is a great reverb to use if you like to create eerie cinematic sounds. The dry patch is a Lunaris 2 pad. Now we're using Supermodal to transform a cold digital patch and make it sound more warm and organic. Kind of like a creature rather than a computer. The burn tape patch using a comb filter and the time warp finisher makes it even more eerie. This one shows the power of stacking, as we are using three effects. One instance of other desert cities sandwiched between two UFX reverb patches. The key here is to dial the mix on all three effects way down to get some semi-random glitchy delays. The original sound is a nice clear bell from pigments. This is run through the Saturated Castle custom preset with the mix set at 11% then ODC's dual delta delay to get some slight pitch shifts, and finally the Fractal's dance patch, again set at a low 18%. Here is the result. I've got envelopes set up on this one as well, and one very interesting thing about UFX 
is that you can actually use the envelopes to change the filter and finisher types, not just the amounts. Just like doing a tape stop, this can create some interesting glitches that you can use as effects, and the fact that you have dozens of filters and finishers to try this with is really cool. I recommend hot swapping these while holding notes down to see what happens, and then when you find something you like, program an envelope to recreate it. This one's interesting. UFX Reverb will actually take the reverb and turn this into a Terminator-esque metal hit sound. It's dirty as heck, and the kick and snare sound almost dry compared to the metal hit. The next example is along the same vein but much more subtle and creates a nice slap back on the clap. This one shows off a bit of magic, I think. We're starting off with Hyperion using the Ultra Sparkle Patch, and we're going to do two things to again make some subtle changes. I've got Supermodal up with the Analog Drone number 2 patch, which uses two random waveforms to create minor amounts of movement. The sine wave on the filter and blend enhance the phaser sound of the original patch, but we lose a little of the high end. If you bring in UFX Reverb with the warm mode, a mid-cut filter, and second shadow, the sparkle is put back, with the finisher providing even more subtle movement, which makes this patch feel really alive. This is another great example of cutting and then putting back in order to keep that clarity of tone. We're going to end with another great patch from Hyperion called Underground Lab. By itself, this patch is pretty incredible, but we're going to add the Electric Waves custom patch to it to make it sound even more sci-fi. So that's 10 interesting things you can do with UGM's easy and fun to use creative reverb. I'll play us out, but first be sure to hit that like and subscribe, because we might have one more Christmas present to hand out before the end of the year. The free patches are available in the link in the description. So go make some great music, and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.